of course, is my giant green anaconda, Ivy. You guys know her. What do you say we get her out? And I'm telling you what, this is one giant snake right here. Of course, anacondas are the heaviest bodied snake, and she's actually only about halfway there. I'm telling you what, holding her up right now is everything that I have. I tell you what, she is one heavy, but absolutely gorgeous snake. And again, they won't get quite as long as a reticulated python. They're not gonna get 25 foot, but I'm telling you what, that is one heavy bodied snake. And I wish you guys could actually feel the strength of this animal. Anacondas are ridiculous. And I tell you, what, Ivy is one of the coolest animals I have ever owned in my entire life. There's no doubt about it, but I'm telling you what, pretty soon I'm not gonna be able to pick her up like this and interact with her because she is just way too big. Oh, she's got me on the ground now, guys. Oh, I tell you, what, what an absolute trick this snake is. I love her to death though. Look at how amazing she is. I mean, spending time with an anaconda is certainly pretty incredible. <laughs> she has got so much power. Oh my gosh, it is impossible to really. Okay, I didn't know if I was gonna wake up this morning, get choked out by an anaconda. All right, I've had a good life. Take me away. No, no, kidding. She's a beautiful snake, trust me. She is absolutely incredible, but she is also so heavy. I'm a pretty strong guy. I mean, relatively strong guy. Struggling with her is everything in my might. What do you think uh, Jay and Noah could do with this girl? What do you say we find out? I do not want to do this. I weigh 132 pounds. Ivy probably weighs like 560 pounds. Oh, God. Well, you're about to find out. Oh, this sucks so bad. Hi, how's it going? How's your knee? I mean, it's going. <laughs> my knee is, you know, it's there. It's buckling. He's heavy, huh? Yep. He's doing good. I'm surprised he's doing as good as he is. I can't even move. Can't even move. Oh. <laughs> Uh, right for I can't even picture. pick my head up. Remember Instagram picture? Instagram it? No, I can't. Take the shot. Can't. Follow at Jay Tingle. Oh, follow. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, all right. I think that went pretty well. I think Jay's about to die. Yeah, Let's go ahead and get Noah. My neck. I work out a little bit. Mike is making this look like easy. He's like making it look like I was struggling. Jay almost died. died. <laughs> Mike's over here just like, what's it's going like, on? Yes. one arm. It's yeah, like a baby cute. anaconda. Yeah. I think Mike would make a good farmer, don't you think? He is a farmer. Yeah. What do you mean? All right, so it's Noah's turn. Jay, you said you weigh 132 pounds. Yeah. Uh, you can't weigh much more. I'm like 140 on a good day. Okay, so they're pretty day? much the same. So Jay rocked us. You're gonna be all right? Yeah, I'm gonna be fine. This is nothing. This is nothing? Man, I, I can solo Lucy. Look at this. Oh. Boom! You see oh. this? Oh. I'm a man. Beat. But I'm look a at man. how good it's on. I want a redo. What, what do you see? mean? There's oh, no God. I Jay want a redo. always do. No, no, no. It's the bar check no, blood. No, I yes, want a is. redo. There's no look redo. Look at how good she's sitting on you. They it's, gave her all just the tail. It's because of my temperament. It's no. my attitude, my calmness. Yes, it is. Family, we're talking about <laughs> Ivy. Look at her. She's Jay a is always making excuses. Always making excuses. I know. Excuses. Redo. That be his nickname. Redo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Excuse, excuse, Jay. Yeah. All right. I'm out of here. All right. Look at that. All right. Cool. I'm telling you what. Handling a giant snake like this is a great thing. Oh, and by the way, welcome to the vlog, Reptile Army. I hope the start of your day is amazing. Yep, and that's the way we like to start our day around here. Did you get that? Nope. Take a look at this actually. Beautiful, normal, wild type reticulated python. Got a little bit of shed on him, so we're gonna give him a little bit of a soak, but this is what a normal reticulated python looks like. I'll be totally honest with you. He looks a little bit sketchy right now. He's normally a pretty docile animal, but you can see he's kind of squeezing me up a little bit, and this is oftentimes the actions of a male retic during a breeding mode, right? When he's starting to kind of feel like he wants to breed, he'll start to get a little bit more tense, and even sometimes pulsate. If they start to push on you a little bit, that's when you have to work worry for sure but uh, even a snake this size can actually breed and trust me you don't want to really get lit up by a male snake this size that's for sure not a reticulated python nevertheless but he's seeming to calm down and again just a little bit of stuck shed but sometimes I don't show nearly enough love to just the beautiful normal pattern of a wild reticulated python I mean what an amazing animal and you can see the shed is almost just really coming up really quick just a really quick soak and this little bugger here is gonna look beautiful but can you imagine a snake like that that's 20 foot long who doggy your ticks are beautiful remember the other day we actually had some Chinese cave geckos well we have some more babies yeah. but these are what the different species yeah so these are um, 
paint and insist. So okay. they'll they'll keep more of the black coloration. Oh, the okay. other ones that you guys did, um, they'll keep more orange on them. I gotcha. But they still have those pretty red eyes, like oh my dragon gosh. eyes. Yeah. Oh my god, they are so, so beautiful. Look at how awesome they are. I've got a ton of eggs too. Really? Uh, waiting to hatch, yep. All right, tons of eggs coming, tons of babies. That's awesome. Gecko season's on its way. Hey Noah, guess what? My buddy is here from Ohio, of course. Yeah. My pal. What's up? You guys remember me, me and my cool bike. So you brought us uh, a something. I got you something I think you'll like for here. All right. You know, Big Brian always gets gifts, but you always talk about Little Brian. Little Brian. We thought of Little Brian on this one. Oh, oh no. Get this out. is all metal. <laughs> this is all steel. Oh I, my god! Because you know I'm a welder. Dude, I built you a dinosaur. So, that thing is so <laughs> dope, so man. Cool. Holy cow, that thing is awesome. awesome. And this is it's one of my favorites, of course. I mean, come on, T-Rex. Everyone loves the T-Rex. We saw some T-Rex out in, uh, so yeah, cool. out in, where were we at? What do you mean? Oh, we were in South Dakota. South Dakota. Yeah, we saw some T-Rex out in South Dakota. Now we have our own T-Rex. Dude, this thought, is awesome, man. Yeah, you were, uh, this is all laser cut on the CNC machine, oh and then gosh. I tack welded it all together. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna lie. I thought this was like the ponies on the playground that you could ride. <laughs> oh, I could ride it. That would, that even that, that would, that would have been awesome. So, cool. Dude, thank you so much. This is absolutely amazing. <laughs> so Lori, I wanted to show you. Did you see my Instagram yet for Easter picture? What do you think? Is that, is that a good picture or what for Easter? Tell me that that shoot doesn't look good. Tell yeah, me that that doesn't look good. What do you mean? That looks like an awesome Easter picture, right? No. Guys, go to my Instagram at SnakeBite TV. Comment if you think that this is a great picture because I think it's amazing. You don't think so? It's not Easter. Number one, it's awesome and it's Easter colors and it's great. So you guys are going to love it. Let me know what you guys think, uh, even if she's a hater. You guys probably remember when I said that Bones, whoa, Bones over here was actually potentially going to be Betty White. We put a kind of, you know, kind of community poll on the comments. And I'll be honest with you, even though a lot of people said keep it Bones, more people said Betty White. So I think we're going to go ahead and make the decision to change this little monkey's name to Betty White. Mainly because I'm a huge Betty White fan, so I've got to have a lizard named after her. I apologize to all of you that love the name Bones. I tell you what, we'll get a male and we'll name him Bones. How's that sound? Noah, what the heck are you doing? You're supposed to be working. Oh my God, this kid. You guys may have realized that I've been slipping in that whole uh, reptile army thing. I want you to join the army and we're about to launch. Here in the next two weeks, we're gonna launch reptilearmy.com. It's not there yet, but if you wanna join the mailing list to get on it, you can actually email join at reptilearmy.com and it's about to launch. So we are super excited about it. Go ahead and send that email off. I know that spring is just here and summer is right around the corner, but I'll be honest with you, I think at BHB, Halloween hit because that is one Halloween steak. I have no doubt that this is the animal we're gonna be putting on Instagram on a Halloween post. Can you believe that? Orange and black, that thing is ridiculous. Of course, it's a scaleless Texas rat snake. You know what's amazing about this time of year is that you start to see females starting to swell up a little bit. This little girl right here is really feisty. Ow, come on, don't, oh, ow. She keeps biting me, but you can see she's starting to swell up with eggs. This is the boy right over here, and boy, she is a feisty little monkey. Come on, little girl. You're okay, okay, whew. Of course, those are licorice rat steaks, and I love those. So it's really cool, again, to start seeing things swelling up, knowing that eggs are right around the corner, and gosh, that girl has quite the bite. Splendid. Whew, that felt good. I'm always torn on what to do, guys, because in one way, you know, I want to put more time and energy into the reptarium and all that stuff. The other side, I love working and breeding snakes. Well, this happens to be an aneurythristic Kenyan sand boa, and I've been working with these guys literally since I was 18 years old. They are absolutely wonderful. So I've been thinking, like, I need to expand my Kenyan sand boa colony because there are so many amazing ones out there. We have some pretty ones, but trust me, there's a lot of mutations that I'm not working with. So on one side, I'm like, do I really need to have another problem? Project, and 
on the other side is, yeah, I sure do, because Kenyan Sambos can be pretty darn awesome. Remember when my buddy Brian Cusco actually sent me the Sunset Ball Python? It's actually a Sunset Cine Ball Python. Well, I just wanted to give you an update. It's doing so well and so amazing. Cannot wait till this guy is ready to breed next year, and I can actually maybe produce some sunsets on my own again. Of course, we started this project a lot of years ago, so it's pretty cool that we're gonna be able to probably produce in the next breeding season. I absolutely love it. Now, now what do we have going on? Okay, so I've got this. Oh, see you guys. Oh, thank you. So I got this idea. My friend owns Planet Rock. All right. I want to take Drogo. To go climbing? To go rock climbing. That's a good idea, to be honest with you. He can do it. He would crush it. He'd be like climbing the walls like nothing. So next week. I think we could probably do that. It's close. No, Ann Arbor. Ann Arbor. That's okay, though. Maybe. I'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, the pie ball ball python laid, so now the countdown for the genetic strike. Let's go ahead and roll that dramatic music. So will today be the day? Oh we got? Nope. No eggs, but I'm telling you, what, she's looking like she's gonna lay any time. Oh my, I'm not gonna do this for all 150 clutches this year, but I'm pretty excited about eggs, you know what I mean? This is an amazing, stunning snake, and she does this all the time. She kind of sits like a green tree python, and she's looking at me right now like, uh, uh, is that food? She's looking at this furry microphone and thinking maybe she's gonna get fed, but the truth is, Sunfire is absolutely amazing, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. How awesome are green anacondas, right? If you enjoyed that, here is a playlist of me playing with a bunch of giant animals on this side. You can subscribe to this vlog channel. Please turn those post notifications on. Have a wonderful day. Remember, be kind to somebody, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.